I'm Alex Jones, and you're watching. Venezuela's opposition party has called for mass protests in order to remove Nicolas Maduro as a usurper. The opposition does control the National Assembly, the country's legislature, but that isn't enough. Many believe in addition to the mass protests, they would need the military on their side. Juan Guaido, the president of the National Assembly, stated, Is it enough to lean on the Constitution in a dictatorship? No, it needs the people, the military, and the international community to lead us to take over. Nicolas Maduro is the despotic successor to the regime created and secured by Hugo Chavez, the once loved populist president of the country whose policies led to the current crisis in Venezuela. Guaido and his party aim to remove Maduro from office and plan to change the course of the once thriving nation. Their plan is not without resistance, however. Venezuela's prison minister threatened Guaido on Twitter, saying that she had a cell ready for him and his cabinet. It may also be a struggle to gain the support of the military. For months now, the Venezuelan people have protested relentlessly, often with the military moving in to dismiss the gatherings. In addition to this, the National Assembly has been cast aside and Maduro created the new Constituent Assembly, stacked with loyalists. Furthermore, all decisions made by the National Assembly, including their declaration that Maduro's presidency is illegitimate, are ruled null and void by the Supreme Justice Tribunal, the nation's highest court. One of the few points of hope for the opposition is the support they've gained from the international community. U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton said the administration of President Donald Trump resolutely supports the Venezuelan National Assembly the only legitimate branch of government duly elected by the Venezuelan people, and especially supports the courageous decision by Guaido to declare that Maduro does not legitimately hold the country's presidency. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has also called Venezuela's government under Maduro illegitimate. Reuters has reported that Brazil's government on Saturday issued a statement saying it recognized Venezuela's congressional leader who opposes President Nicolas Maduro as the rightful president of Venezuela. The population of the South American country has been protesting since 2014. The people are starving. Basic staples like toilet paper, soap, and indeed food are scarce. Vital medicine is nowhere to be found. The hyperinflation of the currency is expected to reach 10 million percent in 2019. Under these circumstances, it's hard to believe that there hasn't been a revolution already, but upon looking at the details, the situation seems almost desperate. The people have been protesting for years. Even members of the military have attempted to encourage the people to go further and overthrow the government, but all attempts have been unsuccessful. One can only hope for the sake of the millions of people being held hostage by this regime that Maduro's ideological pride and the thirst for power will soon be overcome, by peaceful means or otherwise. As the situation worsens and Maduro maintains absolute authority, the fate of the so-called Bolivarian Republic seems bleak at best. My name is Jake Lloyd reporting for NewsWars.com.